want to learn how to print Grail labels in 4x6 format? Come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that. So let's head on over to my screen so I can show you exactly how to print these labels in 4x6 format so you can print them out in your thermal printer. So first, of course, you're going to want to go to your message page. This is uh, just right here in your profile under messages. This is where you can get your labels as well. So you can either go to your messages, which right here, it gives you option to get the label from directly right here, or you can go to your sold page and you can get the label directly from here as well. It really depends on whatever format you prefer. Either way is fine. So what you're going to do is you want to get your label, just print it out. And then normally right here, it will tell you if you're going to get either a USPS or a UPS label. Grell did make some changes to their label system. So I'll, I'll explain that later on at the end of the video. So you want to view and print. So and then this will pop up. The only thing you have to worry about is, of course, the label itself. You don't have to worry about the very top right here. And I'm going to show you exactly why. Right here where it says 100%, you're going to want to zoom it, uh, zoom it in. I, uh, to around uh, say 190 to 200 i normally put 190 as you can see right there now make sure it's in a position where you can do like a screenshot of it so uh, right here what you're going to do is go on your keyboard and then put print screen once you do that you're going to want to go to your paint which i already have it pinned right here so if, if you don't have it pinned you can just go to your start menu and then uh, get to paint once you have your paint window open just you're going to want to paste it right here or anywhere on your, on the easier way to do is just go on your keyboard and put control V and then everything will come up right here. What you're going to do is just scroll down a little bit so it can actually get to the actual label itself. You're going to want to go right here where it says uh, crop and then you're going to want to make the circle or square around the label itself. And then you're going to want to put right here crop and then it'll do that. After that, you're going to want to go right here where it says rotate. And then you're going to do ro rotate right 90 degrees. And now it's rotated 90 degrees. Once that happens, you're going to want to do right here where it says file, save as, and then just put it wherever it's easier for you to find it. For me, I always just do grilled. And then once I actually print it, I delete it. So just save. After that, you're going to want to just, you can actually close this out, this pane window, minimize your actual grill window. And then right here, you'll see that the grill label is saved. You're going to do is double click. The window will open with your label right here. After that, you want to do the little three dots up here. And then you're going to want to print. And then make sure right here it says landscape. You're going to want to put portrait. And then you see that now it's in portrait mode. And then you're going to want to put, then you're going to put right here print. Four by six label printed. And this will even work with UPS labels. I've done it many times with no problem at all. So just really quick, before Grell made all these changes, you were able to choose your own shipping weight when choosing a Grail label or you doing your own. That has since changed that now everybody has to use Grail labels like this in this instance. And the only way you get these labels are now by that way, which I just showed you right now, or which I haven't even checked this part yet because I don't really print my labels from my email, is you get the label on in your email. I'm not sure of how many people actually use their emails to print their labels out, but that is another way that you can do it if you get the label in your email. But this is an easier way, and I know a lot of us uh, sellers have thermal printer, and that's the best way to print labels because we are thermal printers. We get a bunch of these labels, right? Uh, but right now, the only way that these labels come out, of course, is that way that I showed you, which is usually the 8 by 5 or 11, but in this, in this example and how it is with every grail label is you get that little advisement thing on the top which of course is always useless and then you get your actual label and this method is so far the best way that i've been able to figure out to print these labels out in four by six format this was also a similar way that i was doing macari labels but since since macari came out with four by six formatted labels now uh, this method is not needed for macari anymore so hopefully grail can take a lesson and they'll be able to make four by six labels available for us sellers soon so i hope you found this helpful it would definitely help me out if you would subscribe and hit that bell that way you can be notified when i make new videos also hit that like button that way this video can get pushed out to people who want to learn how to ship grilled labels in 4x6 form if you still don't sell on grilled or if you have an interest in selling on grilled click on this video right here it is my grail tutorial and while some well almost everything is still the same the only difference is the shipping where that has changed which i will be making an updated video about that another time see you for the next one